Okay, hey guys, it's Romney Humphreys and Emily Bentley. We're here talking about drug resistant, non fermenting gram negatives and how we deal with them in the lab. So, Emily's got another question for me. What is the drug of choice for Cynotrophomonas multifilia? Yeah, good question. Because we see them more now. Do you feel like? Yeah, yeah, I feel like we see them more. So, they are pretty hard bugs, right? And one of the hardest things with steno is um, normally healthy patients don't get them. Like you have to be really, really, really sick before you wind up getting an infection caused by steno. And then when you get a stenotrophomonas that's in a culture, it's really hard to know if it's just like hanging out and colonizing or if it's causing like a true infection of the patient, especially when it's a respiratory sample. Mm -hmm. So in our lab, we don't test them all necessarily, right. right? We just do the ICU patient ones. And then if it's from a blood, we would test it. So if you need to treat it though, there's new guidance from the IDSA and the references at the bottom of the slide that talks about treating these when treatment's needed. And so the first option is you gotta use two drugs. So you use trim sulfa, or plus minocycline or tigacycline or cifidoricol or levofloxacin. So you can kind of like choose your own adventure, whichever of those two you want, but you got to use two of them together. The other option, and we talked about this in the lecture, is using ceftazidine AB Bactam with estreanam in combination. So that works again because steno's got two beta lactamases. And so AB Bactam knocks out the L2, estreanam L1 has no activity. It works and it seems to work pretty well. So these guidelines are good. They are a little controversial. Some ID docs think that monotherapy is okay, especially if it's not that serious of infection. And the guidelines do say like, once the patient's looking stable, you can probably peel off one of the two agents if you're using two drugs. Okay. And so we are, we did a big, big, big study of steno at CLSI. Uh, there's a great group working on it. And so there's going to be some updates in M100 come January. We're going to have um, the trim sulfide breakpoints. They're going to stay the same, but we're going to say use that in combination. Um, minocycline, the breakpoint is going to change down to less than or equal to one being susceptible. And that's only if you use high dose minocycline, so 200 mix. Um, intermediate will be two, resistant will be four, and then the levofloxacin and breakpoints will stay the same, but again, we'll say to use it in combination therapy. So with the new breakpoints of minocycline, is the drug of choice or the treatment going to be combination therapy? Yeah, still, yeah. Yeah, and it's tough with minocycline because people clinically are used to bugs becoming resistant to meno. So you start it and then it becomes resistant. Now it's not so much the case for steno, but I think people are a little shy of using it on its own. So I, my guess is they'll still use it in combination. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks. Thank you.